Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to add some uh, add an environmental variable to solve some of the issues that you get when running a Minecraft, the Minecraft client or running um, a Minecraft server. Now this will fix the Minecraft client issue of getting the out of memory when you try to log on to some servers and when you're running a server this will fix the not enough RAM me warning message you get in the server window. Now most people have been fixing this by using a, a, a a batch file dot bat file to um, run the commands to uh, give the Java virtual machine more RAM. You don't need to do this because you can do this uh, easily uh, by adding an environmental variable to the system, so that it'll automatically do it for any version of Minecraft or any other Java application. And this way, it if you get a new one in the future that's got a different name or you want to add bucket or something, you don't have to change any. Uh, you know, batch files to get to run, you just click on it like it was the normal app. Well, it is the normal app. Uh, so, first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got the correct version of Java for your operating system. If you've got 64 bit, go to the java.com uh, forward slash en forward slash download forward slash manual.jsp and download the 64 bit version. I'll put the link in the description. Um, now, only download the 64 bit version if you're on a 64 bit OS. If you don't know how to check that, it's in uh, start control panel system and it'll be written there. Once you've installed it, verify that it's been installed correctly. Uh, you know, if you've got the 64 bit uh, operating system, download them both and install them both. It'll because uh, then Java will still work correctly in 32 bit browsers installed on your own system. Uh, Right, so once you've downloaded that and you've verified it's installed correctly, you've got to go to Start Control Panel System Advanced System Settings. Right, now you click Environmental Variable. Uh, now, for user variables to find, you can see mine's already there, but you click New, type in underscore Java underscore options dash XMX. 1G dash XMS 1G. Now this this is the bare minimum you should ever put. Don't go lower than this. Uh, if you've not if you've got less than a gig of RAM in your computer, you don't need to bother putting this in because it'll automatically it automatically defaults uh, to two five six. Well, it automatically starts at a low value and increases up to. Uh, your RAM thing anyway, but this what it does is the XMS is the start size for the heap So you set, start, set the start size for 1G and the XMS is the maximum size So you could do it at XMS or is it the other way around? No, no, it's that way around. You could do it like that except XMX 4G XMS 1 it start with 1 gig and it get bigger if required, but uh, for if, if you're doing it for a game like Minecraft, it's better just to keep the Java heap size fixed uh, b because then you don't ha have any troubles with uh, losing memory or anything like that. Uh, but so if you're on a 32-bit OS, on if uh, it only works up to about 1G. G. Some people have got it working 1.5G. It seems to be very temperamental and dependent on machine. Uh, on mine, I've got 12 gig of RAM installed. But when I tried to do it on the 32-bit Java, the maximum size I could get was uh, only 1.5G and or some of the times it wouldn't start the Java virtual machine with that. If you're on the 64-bit version, you can go up to you can pick a number really. Uh, I'd I'd go about half your RAM if you've got uh, half your RAM up to about eight gig, and then a quarter after that, because if you've got 12 gig, four gig of things. So in fact, at the moment, I've only got mine set to two gig because you don't really need more than that, not for. Well, not at the moment, anyway. So once you set that, you just click OK. Mine's already in there. So, yeah. Now, the second thing to do is in case you do want to go back to using batch files for, for any other reason, um, you can add a system variable, which, like normally when you've got a batch file for um, things, it's like you have it like echo off uh, percentage sign program files. Uh, I think it's a lot, I can't remember exactly. Uh, Java path.
and then dash java dash jar and it's like the path to path to minecraft well obviously yeah and then that's how you normally do it but if you add in the environmental variables a system variable called java and point that to the location of java on your machine then you can get rid of all of this first bit and then it'd be simply java dash no space there. Java dash jar and then the directory to Minecraft. Uh, just see the def if you've got um, 64 bit OS and you want it to that Java to represent the 32 bit version, you can add a second one in uh, like Java 32 and put the path to the 32 bit version. But for now, just put program files to the 64 bit version of Java, which I click OK. And now that you've done that, all you have to do is uh, run uh, any Java application and it will automatically be defaulted to the heap size of your choosing in the environmental variable. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any other questions, uh, post in the comments below and I will answer to the best of my ability.